I don't want them walking away from this court or anybody watching you, do you understand? Yes, Judge. To leave this court with the view that you're a cowboy without you giving me the chance to hear what's called mitigation. And I suspect you might have some substantial mitigation. Yes, Judge. What was going on in your life, sir? Um, personally, in my life, there wasn't really a great deal, but the job, I don't cope with stress very well. Um, I'm, I don't handle stress. Normally, I'm a I'm an on, on hands man that will do the job, get out of the property and be satisfied with the work myself as well as the client. Because I was getting overrun with the amount of issues that was at the job, I was finding it miles, miles too stressful for me to carry it out. Rather than communicating, can I ask you, sir, did you get so stressed that it became overwhelming and you walked off rather than deal with the conflict that may have ensued? Possibly, Judge. I I'm would have liked the definitely. opportunity. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to say definitely. I would never, never and have never left anyone in that kind of mess before. You effectively kicked him off the site before, really, you'd got home. Why do you say you're entitled to do that? Because, Judge, um, he'd left my home in a dangerous um, state and I didn't feel that he was qualified to make good that work that he had done. I had lost faith in the man that I had trusted and I was prepared to wait for the money and I did wait the 30 days. He did not correspond to me. He told me that he wrote to the bank and he was going to get it done in seven days. I had no further correspondence from him. I had no... I needed that... I need that money, Judge. Margaret, you hired somebody to do a job. The critical part of that job was that he was going to do two bathrooms up and, here's the most important part, you wanted it done in two weeks. What happened when you returned, it seems to me, was deplorable, which was that you were met by a scene which, in my judgement, was extremely poor indeed. Now, Steve, you are correct in law. Ordinarily, you would be allowed back and you ought to be given that opportunity. However, because you failed adequately, properly and or reasonably to be in touch with her, she was entitled to lose faith in you, especially as the two-week holiday period was everything as far as she was concerned. In other words, I feel very sure if she'd got back and it was 80% done, she would have allowed you to continue. That's not the situation here. Based upon that reasonable assessment, she was entitled to say goodbye. The award of this court is £5,000. Sir, I accept you got stressed. In those circumstances, it was incumbent on you professionally, regularly and clearly, to communicate what the problems were and to rectify them. Had you communicated effectively, this wouldn't have happened. That's the first thing. Secondly, sir, I know we get into difficulties, but as you rightly accept, this was not completed to a reasonable standard. And what's more, bearing in mind the true reviews, I agree with you that this is, by no stretch of the imagination, a good example of your previous work. The one thing I give you huge amount of credit for is withdrawing your counterclaim. Very, very sensible indeed. In the future, if you get stressed, you've got to dial. Understand? Yes, Judge. This court awards you £5,000. Thank you, Judge Rinder. Yes, yeah, good. Margaret won her case and was awarded the full amount of her claim. Defendant Steve withdrew his counterclaim. Let's find out how both parties felt about today's ruling. It's over and done with. I can now... I've got some money back, and that's important to us. Yeah, yeah I'm good. I wasn't given the opportunity to return. Uh, I, I, at the immediate time she got off the plane and got in her house, um, I got a text message straight away asking me to refund the money. I wasn't even given an hour's notice or nothing, uh, you know, and I was willing to do it because I knew how I left her. You know I never meant to leave you like that, Margaret. I never intended to, to leave you like that. Steve, you I... You know, you absolutely... spoke to me on the phone, you knew I was upset at the job, you knew... You knew it was going that way, you just knew it, and I just couldn't, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't face the job. And, you know, I'm sorry. You know I'm sorry. Thank you, You, you know that. That's, you that, know that. That means a lot. Well, you know. If you enjoyed that video, then I strongly suggest clicking here for more highlights. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, and why not, so that you never miss out, subscribe. Clicking down there. That's an order.